वेलकम टू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ राहुल यादव आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू डी डी आर सी एस मीन्स डिजाइन एंड ड्रॉइंग ऑफ री इनफोर्स कंक्रीट स्ट्रक्चर एज डी डी आर सी एस प्लेज वाइटल रोल इन द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड सो इट इज वेरी इसेंशियल टू नो द वेल कंसेप्ट रिगार्डिंग ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट डी डी आर सी एस सो let me tell you that it's not my tentative plan that i'll going to stop this subjects or the series of a lecture at the certain peak point i will continue it till that i could not cover my syllabus what i want to be provide my knowledge to you my dear friend so it's my request all of you please please subscribe the channel so that you can get the notification once i upload the video and which is very important in the civil engineering field this is so because the design and drawing of the reinforced concrete structure plays vital role before construction of the any structures before once you once you design of any structures it is very useful to maintain its durability and strength because we know what are the criteria which are going to affect so in the construction of any mega structure in the world before constructing the designer and the engineers must design and draw the structures so let us start the series of lectures in this series today we will especially deal about what we will going to study in the future series of lectures so especially today we will cover about what we are going to study in the futures and what i will going to teach you in the futures so let's start the subject name ddrcs here the term design is nothing but it means the giving or having the proper shape and size of the structures the structure must consist of proper shape and size if it not it may going to fail at the certain point or in certain period of time so any structures either it may be column slab any civil engineering structures must have certain proper design so design means giving the proper shape and size of the structures and it is very important you know it well so drawing similarly before we going to construct any structures we must need to draw and we must have the proper dimensional of the structures proper dimensional structures must have the good strength and we know the failure criteria of it so drawing is nothing but the imaginary image with the proper dimension of the structure similarly reinforced concrete is nothing but the in the concrete reinforced is inserted as we know concrete is nothing but the mixture of cement sand aggregate and water along with the admixture to enhance the property of the concrete so we know that concrete is good in resisting the compressive strains as compressive as the concrete is good in resisting compressive strains concrete kya hota hai ki wo concrete res compressive stress ko jhelne ke liye usme bahut zyada taakat hota hai theek hai wo tensile stress ko nahi jhel sakta hai compressive stress comp compressive strains can be withhold or can be with withstand by the concrete easily whereas the tensile stress cannot be withstand so it is need to be reinforced with suitable material wherever tensile develops so the best reinforced is the steel because the tensile strength of the steel is high and the bond between the steel and concrete is very good so we know that in every structures we it seems that the concrete the steel is inserted in the concrete either it may be the construction of column slab reinforced the con the steel must be reinforced in the concrete and the bond between these two materials is very good and very strong so dd finally rcc is nothing it means the composite material consisting of concrete and steel reinforced are usually in the form of mild steel mild steel is nothing but generally you are using in the construction of residential building so reinforce are in the form of mild steel or high strength deforms steel bars of diameter 16 to 32 mm there is, there are available different types of steel bars of having different diameters so in the market generally of available 
steels of having the diameter 6 to 32 mm so 6 to 32 mm is the diameter of the rod which is available in the market so if you define rcc in engineering perspective point of view it is it is nothing but the science of proportioning means the proper quantity of concrete materials concrete materials nothing but the cement sand aggregate the science of proper proportioning the structure element to withstand the load and determine the numbers and size of the the reinforced bar is used so this is all about the introduction of ddrcs generally if we if i tell you that in this subject we will going to design different types of structure elements so that it will provide or it will having the more strength so let's see what we will going to study in this series of lectures so today i will only provide you the syllabus which we will going to study in this series of lectures so which will be very beneficial so my dear friend so these are the contents to be studied as i divided all this content in unit wise unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 till unit 5 so in unit 1 we will discuss about the introduction of ddrcs especially we will have some point regarding about the scope of ddrcs what what are the advantages of having ddrcs knowledge so all these things we will deal about in this one similarly we will deal about the properties of concrete there are different properties of concrete are to be noted by the designer so we will going to study all these things like uh, the material of the concrete should be assumed as a homogeneous there are the different grade of concrete used in the structure so all these things will deal in the properties of concrete similarly stress strain relationship as we know higher curves will show the higher strength of the concrete so all these things we are going to deal in the properties of concrete tensile strength poisons ratio creep shrinkage and what are the effect of it on the strength of the concrete all these things we will going to deal in the properties of concrete once i start the lectures i will continuously provide you a clear note along with the good lecture similarly the third point consists of uh, loading a standard loading a standard means uh, or any structure which is subjected to having a different types of loading standards means a structure is subjected to different types of loading like dead load dead load is nothing but you can simply say it's self weight imposed load means live load live load means which we are giving the load to the structures similarly wind load snow load earthquake load and the different force and their affected so all these things we're going to deal in the loading standards similarly we will differentiate working stress method and limit state method these are the methods which are used in designing of the different types of structures so first of all we will know what are the different types of methods to be adopted and what is the difference between all these types of methods so i am going to teach you the limit state methods by using limit state methods we will design different types of structures of the civil engineering structures element so first before i adopt the limit state method i will differentiate limit working stress method and limit state method similarly we will continuously dealing about elastic theory design constant balanced and under reinforced and over reinforced section in the similarly we will deal about uh, limit state design its principle its characteristics what are the factors affecting limit states limit state design so what are the steps to be involved in designing the structured elements so, so all these things are covered in unit 1 continuously in unit 1 we will discuss about partially load and safety factors means while designing the different types of element what are the safety factors to be adopted what is the safety or what are the partially loading to be applied in the structures so all these things we are going to study in unit 1 similarly representative stress strain curve for the cold work to deform and what are the adjoptions in the limit state design methods means before 
डिजाइनिंग ऑफ द एनी स्ट्रक्चर वाट आर द एजप्शन टू बी एज्यूम्ड इन दिस मेथड सिमिलरली ब्लॉक पैरामीटर्स एंड लिमिटिंग मोमेंट ऑफ रेसिस्टेंट सो ऑल दीज कंटेंट आर गोइंग टू बी स्टडी इन यूनिट फर्स्ट एंड आई विल ऑल्सो सोल्व द सब नोमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द लिमिट स्टेट डिजाइन मेथड सो प्लीज फॉलो मी कंटिन्यूसली सो दैट यू कैन गेट द क्लियर कट नॉलेज एंड यू विल हैव मोर बेनिफिशियली रिगार्डिंग द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम सो लेट सी द नेक्स्ट यूनिट नेक्स्ट यूनिट कंसिस्ट दैट इज यूनिट टू इन यूनिट टू विल डील अबाउट द बीम सिंगली रिनफोर्सड और डबली रिनफोर्स सेक्शन विल डिजाइन द सिंगली रिनफोर्स सेक्शन विल फाइंड इट्स इफेक्टिव डेप मोमेंट ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस सिमिलरली विल डिजाइन डबली रिनफोर्सड बीम एज यू नो बीम इज नथिंग बट द होरिजेंटल मेम्बर सो द डिजाइन ऑफ बीम इज वेरी इसेंशियल बिकॉज द लोड ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम द स्लैब्स आर टोटली डिपेंड अपॉन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द बीम सो द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द बीम शुड बी मैक्सिमम टू विथ स्टैंड द लोड विच आर एक्सपोज टू द सरफेस ऑफ द बीम सो विल डिजाइन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बीम एंड वाट टाइप्स ऑफ डिजाइन आर टू बी अडोप्टेड वाइल कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ऑफ द बिल्डिंग सो इट विल बी गोइंग इट विल गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो ऑल दिस द डिजाइन स्टेप्स बिकॉज इट रियली डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ सिमिलरली लिमिटिंग परसेंटेज ऑफ स्टील एंड मिनिमम टेंजाइल रिनफोर्स विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस मैक्सिमम फ्लेक्जरल स्ट्रेस सिमिलरली डिजाइन ऑफ सीयर टोर्सन एंड बॉन्ड एनी स्ट्रक्चर्स विच इज ऑल्सो सब्जेक्टेड टू सीयर टोर्सन एंड बॉन्ड सो विल गोइंग टू डिजाइन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू और विल डिजाइन ऑफ सीयर टोर्सन एंड बॉन्ड हेयर द टर्म टोर्सन इज नथिंग बट द टू इक्वल एंड अपोजिट फोर्सेज विच आर एक्टिंग इन द अपोजिट मैनर वो इन द साफ्ट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू वन एंड फिक्स एंड अदर एंड आर अप्लाइड बाय द फोर्स टेंजेंटली दैट इज नथिंग बट द टोर्सन सो यूनिट टू कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग सिमिलरली लेट सी यूनिट थ्री यूनिट इन यूनिट थ्री वील स्पेशली डील अबाउट द कंप्रेसिव मेंबर कंप्रेसिव मेंबर इज नथिंग बट द मेंबर व्हिच आर बिल्ड टू विथ स्टैंड द कंप्रेसिव फोर्सेस लाइक कॉलम देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉलम शॉर्ट कॉलम मीडियम कॉलम लॉन्ग कॉलम सो वील गोइंग टू डिजाइन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉलम एंड इट्स स्टेप्स रिलेटेड टू द लिमिट स्टेट डिजाइन मेथड अंडर द एक्सर ऑफ एक्सेली लोडिंग एंड बाई एक्सेली लोडिंग सो इन द कॉलम द एज यू नो द कॉलम एंड स्ट्रॉट कॉलम इज द वर्टिकल स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर सब्जेक्टेड टू कंप्रेसिव फोर्सेज सिमिलरली स्ट्रॉट में भी वर्टिकल होरिजेंटल और इट इज इंक्लाइंड एट द शॉर्ट एंड एंगल सो इन दिस यूनिट स्पेशली विल डिजाइन द कॉलम सिमिलरली ब्रेस्ट एंड ऑन ब्रेस्ट कॉलम विल डील इन दिस विच इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग similarly is code provision will deal all these things in unit 3 similarly unit 4 different types of footing my dear friend as a civil engineer we know the footing design is very very important because all the load of the building depend on the footing because the load of the building transmitted to the footing and footing footing distribute the load to the soil so it is very very important to know the design steps of the footing of of the different types there are different types of footing which are going to be constructed which are going to be construct while constructing the structure element so it is very essential to know the design of different types of shape of footing subjected to which is subjected to axial load uni axial load and bi axial load so let us see who once we going to start the series of lectures you will know well about all these things similarly unit 5 consists of especially of slab we will we'll have all the information regarding about the slab different types of slab that is one way two way slabs later we will discuss about clear manner once you going to start the lecture so classification of slabs and design of slabs we will design of slabs we will have some problem related to the design of the slabs so that you can get the clear cut knowledge so it's all about the ddrcs which we will going to study in this series of lecture 
so don't forget to subscribe the channel so that once i upload the video we'll get the notification so please please चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए ताकि जब भी वीडियो रखे और सबसे पहले आप देखें और इट विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड इट विल मोटिवेट मी टू दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी स्टडी एंड सो दैट आई कैन हेल्प यू थैंक यू आप अपने ध्यान रखें बाय